90 U.S. Marines landed in the Philippines over the weekends, and right now several U.S. Navy ships are rushing to the area, including the aircraft carrier George Washington. The George Washington was on a port visit in Hong Kong. It's expected to arrive in 72 hours. There are more than 3 million Filipino Americans. Many of them here are anxious for news and eager to help. Here's Don Daler. Desperate to track down her family in her hometown of Tacloban, Jackie Dewar turned to Facebook. That's how she found out what her 78-year-old mother did to save their lives. My mother and my younger sister were, were holding on to a refrigerator, floating around in muck for 45 minutes. They, they put the young children inside the refrigerator. They used it as a boat? They used it as a, a boat. refrigerator? Yes. Her family survived but lost everything. She's collecting emergency supplies and raising money. We direly need help. This is for real. This is hell. You? Across America, people are doing what they can to help. From supplies donated at a car dealership in San Bruno, California, to cash donations in the part of Jersey City, New Jersey, known as Little Manila. Military veterans from L.A. are forming search and rescue teams. Matt Pilak is one of the leaders. Tools, saws, flashlights, sleeping bags, you name it. And it's all got to go on our backs. Call centers, including this one in Philadelphia, are putting family members in touch. Um, her name is Heidi Dewar. But thousands remain missing, including Jackie Dewar's little brother. He's the one you're most concerned about right now? Right now, yes. And, and his family? And his family, yes. Dewar's son is on a plane to Manila right now with a load of supplies. He'll drive to Tacloban, but after hearing stories, Scott, of aid convoys being robbed on the way, Dewar is afraid for his safety. Don Daler, thank you, Don.